Jackie and I are out harvesting some mushrooms for mid-October. We're out here grouse hunting and we're not doing so well for grouse hunting so we're gonna start looking for mushrooms and we will be searching around really looking for honey mushrooms uh, maybe some hen of the woods there's Jackie over there maybe some hen of the woods um, uh, bears head possibly so we're just gonna be looking around seeing what we find and hopefully we can get some uh, some grouse too the red squirrel over there making noise all right so Jackie's found a nice patch of honey mushrooms and malaria. These guys are uh, really nice, beautiful specimens. Maybe just take the top ones. This is a beauty. These are actually really good in soups. Honey mushrooms are uh, very choice edible. And they are one of the more common edible wild uh, fall mushrooms. Just try to peel it off a bit. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh there wow! Are. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, see, it should come off as one cluster, but yeah, stand up. Hold that thing. So clearly, our grouse hunting is pretty slow today. But with things like this in the woods, <laughs> I mean, leave empty-handed. It's still a success. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. You can see that ring. A little bit of a ring and a darkening bit of scale like uh, structures on there. Mm -hmm. Really is a nice specimen. Perfect. Some old horse hoof fungus on this birch. Chaga growing on this birch here. A great medicinal fungus. Um, it's found in northern areas growing on birch trees. And a lot of guys use this. Oh, geez, I'm gonna have to fight with this for a little bit. I'm gonna take this and grind it down into a powder. We can use this medicinally. Things like uh, apparently it even absorbs radiation in the body. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but it's definitely something uh, worth looking into, so. Cool. Uh, some of it's broken off. This is past its prime. I mean, that's not an edible mushroom anyway. But just to give you an idea of how big it is, I'm a full-size man's hand here. That's usually a bad sign, though. It's a good sign that the tree is dying. But yeah, northern tooth. Really neat. Here we are. That's deadly galliarina. The uh, they're much smaller. Look at how brown it is under there. Yeah, that's them. It's brown underneath. Rusty brown spore print. They're not growing in a big cluster like the um, honey mushrooms. They don't have that dark spot in the center, and they're much much smaller. I mean, that's one of the bigger ones. It's not very big. They don't have a ring around the, the stem. Still a pretty mushroom, just not the kind uh, we're looking for. I just found this bear's head fungus. Might be comb tooth. You'll see Jackie's found some as well. I just uh, knocked it off that tree up there. It's about 10 feet up. This grows well on cut logs. Same with the comb tooth, bear's head, lion's mane. Goes by a few different names for similar species of the same uh, same family. Um, but yeah. A little bit of work. It's a rare mushroom, it seems for me, but that's a great specimen. All right, so we found some Harrisium. Uh, bear's head tooth, lion's made. 
Jackie's going to come in here and show you proper cutting technique for this particular mushroom. And really all mushrooms. And cut it just out from the log. Beautiful. Wonderful specimen. Jelly fungus. Jackie has spotted a bear's head. Look at that. Oh wow, what a beauty. Now this is a mushroom we really don't see very often. But it's nice to uh, come across them. So leave some on there so that mycelium still has a nice base in the tree. And you're just taking off the fruiting body. Wow, what a beauty. All right, nice little find here. Some gem studded puffballs. These are beautiful find. I don't see these very often. You can see here some of the other ones which have expired. They've got a very coarse texture is why they're called gem studded puffballs. A little bigger than pear shaped puffballs. And uh, they're growing here right now. You can see they kind of emit their, pour, their spores from that hole on top. They explode. But that's another edible one which I won't be eating right now though. We have got uh, maitake, hen of the woods. These are smaller ones. We uh, may let these guys grow, but wow, what a find. This is actually a pretty tough to find. It's found almost exclusively around oaks. Um, this is a big, a big black oak that I'm right by here. And you can see, I mean, these ones are what, maybe two pounds together. Maybe three if we're lucky. And these things get big, you know. 10, 20 pounders. There's a few more growing down this side here. And they are coming up pretty nicely. We'll let those ones and then the other ones down there. And then the stuff going around the side. We'll let those ones grow out. So you're looking for... I mean, look at this oak. This oak's in shambles. But that's what you want. To find these beauties. Okay, so what we've got here is shaggy mane, pretty unique mushroom. Bugs will be in this one a little bit. But that's an edible mushroom, Jackie's just gonna cut it off there. Beautiful. That's, I mean, that's a little aged. Usually they're quite a much more whitish, very oval cylindrical shaped, nice wild edible. These, these usually grow right along grassy trails, grassy areas, people's front yards very often. This uh, this uh, shaggy mane here, is a nice, nice example. All right, so we found something pretty cool here. Uh, this here is the stinkhorn fungus, and it's all wet right now. The dog stinkhorn fungus, uh, mutinous uh, caninus. And you can see the size of it, which is the dog stinkhorn. And funny enough, right beside it, Jackie happened to notice that. And right here we have what uh, we call a wood egg. <laughs> That's the bulbous uh, fungal, I don't know, fungal mass that it kind of comes out of. And forest eggs, wood eggs, people call them different things, but it's pretty cool to see. I don't see this particular uh, species very often. I've seen them in red, and I don't believe this is edible. And it actually kind of smells, I can smell it right now. But uh, they do happen to attract flies. Pretty neat to see though. This is what happens to those giant puffballs as they uh, begin to age. Uh, first turn yellowish. What well, that? Well, you definitely ain't eating that. Well, we've had a pretty good uh, outing. It's the end of October. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you for taking along. Learning a bit about some of the mushrooms here in Southern Ontario at this time of year. These are late season mushrooms. We'll get a few going on into November, but uh, generally it's been a good season. Thanks again. And as always, like or subscribe.